Hey everyone, um, I just have a quick current reads for you guys today. Um, this is slightly different. It keeps changing, so I keep uh, filming it and then waiting a few days and then deleting it. But anyway, um, hopefully this is actually what I will be reading for the end of February. I mean, f until the end of January. Um, the first thing that I'm hopefully going to finish today, but not totally sure, is Secret Adversary by Agatha Christie. This has actually taken me a lot longer to read than I expected. Um, the audiobook is only seven and a half hours long, but I've been reading this for like three days now. Um, I, I don't know what it is. Uh, I am enjoying it, but for some reason it's just taken me longer. But right now I am about 140 pages into this, and I have about four four and a half, between four and four and a half hours left on the audiobook, so hopefully I'll finish this today. And then next up, um, here we go, uh, tomorrow I will be focusing on Walking Home by Simon Armitage, because, um, this is one I've been reading for quite a while, and it's due back to the library soon, and it's one that I really don't want to renew again because I've had it probably since November. And, you know, I just, I think that's kind of unfair to others and I want to finish it and return it. Uh, I was really enjoying it when I was reading it. Um, other things just kind of got in the way. So I'm looking forward to diving back into it. And then on Monday, um... I might also be trying to finish Walking Home on Monday, but I know one thing I'll be starting on Monday is Lady Audley's Secret by Mary Elizabeth Braddon. Um, Katie from Books and Things and I are going to be reading this together, and um, we have, I think we have planned out a schedule. Um, I know that we said we wanted to read around 75 pages a day, but we wanted to do it by chapters, so then I kind of looked at the chapter list and sort of mapped out um, a little schedule for us, uh, that she said sounded good. So hopefully we'll finish this, um, in about six days or a week. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it because we were supposed to read this in October, I think, and we both kind of overloaded our reading. And so we're just now getting around to rescheduling. And yeah, I'm just, I'm really looking forward to this. I do already know the secret, but I'm hoping that that will make this more intriguing for me rather than um, making me feel like, oh, I already know the ending, so what's the point? Um, and it might not be the ending. It could be that the whole big twist happens somewhere in the middle or something. Um, I'm not really sure. So yeah, I feel like it'll be interesting because I feel like I'll sort of be going into this with the perspective of a rereader. Um, like, you know, because I know the twist, I feel like I'll be reading it differently, um, than I would if I didn't, uh, if I was going into this blind, basically. So, yeah, that'll be very interesting. Um, and, yep, and then, uh, I think there's a movie from, like, 2000 that I'm gonna try to watch when I finish reading this. And then, um, after that, I want to finish reading Henry V by Shakespeare, this should only take me, um, about a day to finish. Um, I watched the, what you call it, um, the, sorry, I'm kind of blanking, the Hollow Crown film adaptation of it with, um, Tom Hiddleston, and it was wonderful. He was amazing. Um, I honestly think that if I watch the Kenneth Branagh one now of Henry V, I still won't think it's as good, uh, which if I saw that one first, I might disagree, but this was just amazing, and Tom Hiddleston did such a fantastic job. I now want to see him in, like, every Shakespeare thing ever, um, which makes me very sad that, um, Coriolanus isn't, uh, isn't available for me to watch because he was in the National Theatre live version of that, and I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> Um, but anyway, uh, this book, um, I mean, this play is really good so far for reading it, and I know, um, based on having seen the film adaptation, that I have a lot of really great speeches to look forward to, um, that were just delivered magnificently, um, and even just, uh, 
just from what I've read so far, the prologue done by the chorus is amazing. So really looking forward to finishing this. And then uh, the last thing that I'm going to try to read this month, um, I might be able to fit a couple other things in, but the last thing I'm attempting to read is Around the World in 80 Days by Jules Verne, which again will hopefully only take me about a day. Um, and I'm trying to read this before the first of the month because um, the film will be shown on TCM on the 1st of February. Uh, and I talk about this as part of my Oscar reading project in a different video that uh, I don't know which one will go up first between this one or that one. Probably I'll post this and then post that. Um, so anyway, uh, that's what I'm trying to read for the rest of the month. Um, please let me know what you think of any of these and what you're reading for the rest of the month or just what you're reading right now. Uh, I hope everyone is having a good evening and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.